Okay, so I got a silver sparkle Gretsch here that they wanted to look like Tao's turquoise color. But we don't have a sparkle that color. So we had this silver and then I mixed some colors together to simulate what Tao's turquoise would look like if it was a sparkle. I think I used sapphire blue, which is a transparent color, and I mixed some organic green with it. I think that's what I did. So I usually start on the tops of these because they hang up so high I can't get up there. So I spray the top surfaces first. There's that little gap down in there. Should paint down in there. The little cutouts on the back. I shoot paint on the uh, edge of those. So I'm starting with the side here, easing it on there. see the foam on the waterfall in the background that's from uh, chemicals being added to the water and sometimes it foams up like that it doesn't really affect anything so I got that side done now I'm doing this side it's kind of hard to see it really good when it's hanging this high I could uh, hang it lower but then it would hit the table I could pull the table out but yeah it's kind of an ordeal that table has wheels on the bottom. You can pull it out of the way. But I just muddle through right here. So I got the sides. And that little area I'm painting there where the neck connects, boy, you gotta be careful right there. Because it's easy to get a shadow. Because the way the neck is on there, it kind of creates this little place where the paint will use the neck as a mask. So you gotta get the right angle on there. Otherwise, you get kind of a dead spot. I got the back, got the face, just easing my first coat on there. Kind of see what it looks like. Pretty towsy, I think. Tows turquoise is a solid color, not metallic. kind of looks like that. See, and right there in the, in the corner where the neck connects, well, you can shoot paint right there, but there's something about the actual tight little corner there. Paint does not want to go in there. I don't know if it just bounces off. You got to really get close and shoot it right into that little area there. That's what I was doing a second ago. See right there? That's what I'm doing, trying to get paint right in that tiny little corner area. But when you do that, it's easy to get a stripe. You have to put it on too heavy. And then you're constantly fighting and trying to get the rest of it even to match. So there you go. Get the back of the neck. There's a handle on there I use to hold and manipulate it. It's just a little key-shaped thing that you put through the uh, keyhole here. But if you're not careful, not on that back side, but on the front side, you can see where the, the whole T-shaped thing is. Yeah, you can get a shadow. And I ended up getting a shadow on the back of the headstock here. I'm kind of my body's blocking your view, but um, there's a little screw that holds that T in place, and uh, you know you got to be sure you get paint all around it and uh, I think I made a, a little weird shadow around it so I'm putting a second coat on the main areas on the sides
So I think it painted all those little beveled edges of the, the whole cutouts there. Making sure that both front and back are about the same color. Side to the neck. Top edge there. Edge dock. And I ended up messing up the back of the headstock here. I was trying to use some paint around that screw that's on there. And I ended up making a spot, a dark spot. So now I'm trying to sand that dark spot, dark spot out. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm using sort of this cloth type sandpaper. I think it's like 600 grit. With transparent colors like the one I'm putting on here, <coughs> I like to, uh, when I'm trying to fix something like this, sand it off real gradually so that whenever you kind of fog it back in, there's not any, you can't notice it as bad or as much or at all. If you just take too strong of a paper and sand it off, you're going to have, you're always going to kind of have a weird, not a hard line, but a separating there, area there be able to see it. So I took the T-handle off so I could get better access there to sand that area. So I think I sanded the dark spot off so now I'm just trying to kind of even out the whole area there that I sanded so it's just not like a blank area and fading out that sanded area. One little slip of the gun and you gotta deal with all of this. So this was shot with sparkle, silver sparkle that was poured into nitrocellulose lacquer and then the next day it the whole thing was shot with two coats of lacquer over the silver sparkle okay then that was scuffed a little bit and then it came to me now I'm putting this trans blue on it and the binding on the neck there's taped up and all the way around the body there's a binding I think on that one and it's taped up here I'm just kind of trying to fog in that little area Make sure my gun's not spitting. Whenever you um, are barely pulling the trigger, sometimes it spits. You ever use an airbrush and if your paint isn't just right, it spits little blobs. Same thing with a big gun. A lot of air and a tiny little bit of material and you get that spitting thing. Yeah, see right there, it's spit a little butter. Just kind of sitting on top of those as you knock that off. Just trying to blend in that area there.
See, I can grab the neck there and, and um, move, move the body around. Um, that stuff dries pretty quick. I don't put it on real wet. So now I've, I'm done with the blue there and I've got some lacquer, some clear lacquer, and I'm going to uh, spray some of that on there. It makes it easier to see if you have any, um, you know, light spots or if it's uneven. stretch bodies like this so I can kind of get a better view of the whole thing and the way a player would see it. And that's it. Giving it the once over there. It's a done deal. Tiles, turquoise, sparkle. <laughs> 